on the couch with Koala. If there's an actress in Bollywood who's fun and fearless, it's the very tall and sexy Shushmita Sen. She may have made some odd choices in her film career, but that only goes to show that she's willing to live life totally on her terms. She has adopted a baby girl at the age of 24, and she was the first Indian to be crowned with the title of Miss Universe. All this makes her supremely interesting. Shushmita, welcome on the couch. Oh, well, thank you. And I love those red shoes. I think they're very hot. There's a quote I read of yours, hmm. which says, I made up my mind to climb up the stairs rather than take the lift. Yeah. What does it exactly mean? And where has it got you? Um, someone's done a lot of research. I like, I like. When I think about doing anything specific and I plan it, something or the other inevitably goes wrong. So I have learned the hard way <laughs> that one step at a time, you try and jump those steps, then it leads you to a place and position where A, you never intended to be in, even though you thought that's where you land up. So, um, And is that a work, good place? Or a, it's uh, always a good place. If you take the steps, it's always the good place. Because if nothing else, and if you're stranded, you always know there's a step to move back to. And it's not a bad thing. Oh. Sometimes you got to move back a step to have a better pers perspective of things and then take your next step forward. But in an elevator, you're pretty much stuck. And if you're claustrophobic, you're not going to enjoy being stuck there. <laughs> so where exactly would you say you are now? Let's say vis-a-vis -vis career. Like right. what stage are you at? In a your... transitional one. I'm pretty much not uh, in any solid place yet. I thought when I became an actor that I knew what I was doing. This was charted out for me and that's what I was going to be doing. Then as time goes by, you realize, uh, why is it that it doesn't excite me anymore to get up and just do this? And then you realize there is a hunger for other things. And then you start the process of trial and errors to see if this will work for me or that will work for me. You fail at some, you and succeed at other. And what are these other things? Like non-acting related things? Non-acting related things. Well, there's some are film related still. You know, producing, <laughs> directing, looking at different avenues. What made you actually decide to do Rani Lakshmi Bai? I believe Rani Lakshmi Bai is a story that needs to be told. It's a story that needs to be told now more than ever. Why? Because so? it's got too much of relevance. If you bring back history uh, for any reason whatsoever, it's not enough to just applaud what had happened. But if it has relevance in today's times, which it does, for example, giving you one off of an example, when she died, her closest allies are the only people standing. She was a Maratha queen. People standing, Bundel Khandi, Maratha queen. And the people standing next to her were Muslim Pathans. And that's something in a country like ours today has great relevance. What fascinates me is we tend to look at lives which did not have an opportunity to live it to its entirety. So talking about this, you said that this woman who, you know, is surrounded at the time of her death by all these Muslim leaders. Yes. What do you think about the times that we are living in at the moment? I was very deeply saddened and disturbed because I watched uh, every single moment of the horror, the barbaricness of what yeah. happened with us in Mumbai and the terrorist attacks. But the truth is, sweetheart, when we are experiencing it, there is a tremendous sense of anger along with that sadness. But as you progress and you look at the entire situation, as I was telling you, you step back to have a better perspective. You realize anger is not the answer. Nothing is. Pointing fingers at people is not an answer. Bringing down governments is not an answer. The answer is to go to the cause. And somewhere, all of us, and our conditioning is based on fear. And terrorism thrives on fear. So a society that doesn't go back to its source will constantly have these different episodes which will be terrorizing whether or not they're done by terrorists. So I'm, I've been very silent about it also because I just feel that a lot of people are standing up and speaking what they believe. I don't really know what the solution is. So for me to stand up and say, I know what it is, uh, would be just another voice adding to the chaos. 